Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to show selected item ID. And the question is why you need it? Because we would like to prepare our custom 3D model for intelligent fastener. So this is the first step what you need to understand. And for example, we are using the source file and source file is for example for the screw ISO 4762 and over here you can see the source file. My question is where to found it, yeah? So if you will jump into installation folder, for example, Creo 8, common file, IFX part and IFX fastener data, over here you can found that system always use two files. First one is the 3D model as the PRT and the second one is the data file as a data file. And in the data file, the first thing what you need to understand if you would like to create your custom 3D model for intelligent fastener is that we need to know how the source files is created. And you can see here that over here is the placement that this screw is placed on the surface 28 and place it on the axis 71. And if you create your custom 3D model, the surface will be not 28 or axis 71. So we need to change this name here. Okay, so let's start to investigate our 3D model. First of all, if you do not know how to work with the configuration files, you can simply found, yeah? But for now, I will show you that you can found the feature or surface, yeah? So for now, we would like to found a surface and we know that in the history tab is the ID and we are looking for ID surface 28. Yeah, so if I will jump here, surface ID 28, the system will found me that I'm, um, yeah, okay, this surface is placement surface. Okay, I can put it on the right and the system will show me. For my 3D model has to be placed as this surface. And second point is that axis, so on the component can be five, seven axes and you don't know which one it is on the source file. You can check and again here is the axis 71. So we can try to found the axis 71. So we will find axis 71 and find now and see. Okay, so these two references are used for the placement. But if you will create our custom one, we need to know what the name of the ID is because right now, if I will leave the mouse on the surface or for example, on the axis, yeah, I will show the layer and you can see the official layer from the source model are hidden. So you can use the right mouse button and show. And right now, if you show the axis, the axis will be visible. And again, it's not mentioned what kind of ID it is here, yeah? And if you will jump into model three, so you can see the three columns and you can show the feature ID, but in reality, it's only feature ID. Yeah, so it's not possible found it here. Question is how to do it, really easy. You can jump into file option and if I will select option, the system will open the Creo parametric option for me and in configuration editor, we can found necessary configuration option. For now we can, for example, use the show underscore selected, yeah? And the system will show you that over here is the show selected item ID and default is no, because over here is a star, it's default. And if I will select yes and add change and close and confirm okay, the system asks you if you would like to save this file. Yes, you can use the save. For now, I would like to only use it. And for now, if I will select surface, right now I can see the ID 60. If I will move, on the placement surface, I can see that is the ID 28. And if I will select axis, again, I can see that is ID 71. So if you will create any model, yeah, for example, we will create simple for the test, some 3D model, and we will reuse, for example, Revol feature. And we will simulate our screw so quickly yeah so without dimension now i think that 
you agree that is not necessary for cosine the dimensions. And now, if you would like to write your custom surface for placement, so we will use this one, it's ID 192 and axis 225. So you will change in the source file, if you will create a copy of data file, you will change the surface ID here and axis ID here. It was explanation how to show selected item ID and how to prepare the data file for your custom screw. In the next tutorial, I will focus how to work with custom names and dimensions. Stay tuned, like video, share with your friend and buy me a coffee as a donation. Thank you and bye-bye. Vladimir.